dear professional friends today in this video we are going to see two hot topics 27 years old woman ca chartered accountant is in jail for gst registrations done for alleged fraudulent companies or firms and uh, a company and its director will be penalized if sin number is not displayed on company's letterhead so these are the two hot topics which I am going to discuss in this video. In Paradi Jain versus State of Rajasthan, January 2020, uh, the Paradi Jain filed pale application contending that she was only registering the firms on behalf of the clients after collecting required documents from them. The present petition is a professional chartered accountant. She further submitted that the petitioner was only getting the firm registered at the behest of her clients where collecting do requisite documents from them. It was the duty of the competent authority of the department of GST to get the details furnished by the present petitioner verified as per KOEC know your customer as the petitioner being a practicing chartered accountant and a woman of 20 years old is in jail for the last one more than one month and in view of the undertaking submitted by the petitioner to fully cope investigating agency and to provide the information documents asked for by the investigating agency this court of is of the opinion that the bail application filed by the petitioner deserve to be accepted. Rajasthan High Court granted bail on personal bond of rupees 10 lakh and two sureties of rupees 10 lakh each. Company and its directors will be penalized if sin number is not displayed on company's letterhead. Section 12 of the Companies Act 2013 sin number is on, on the company's letterhead to be displayed numerous instances where companies have been penalized section 12 of the companies act 2000 internal ir requires a company to have a registered office within 30 days of its incorporation under for all times thereafter further section 12 2 d 6 of the company's incorporation rules provides further requirements in this regard companies must ensure that they have corporate identification number printed on all letterheads bill heads official documents etc to ensure compliance with this section so companies have to incorporate this sin number on their letterheads invoices copy official documents without any file I, uh, we have seen many instances of ROC orders in recent days where companies have been penalized by violation of this section uh, and uh, I mean I'm giving you an important case where directors and companies have been filed Anup Industries Limited it has been fined rupees 2000 for not displaying its sin on its letterhead and uh, its director managing director and also its whole time director have, have been punished have penalized for rupees 2000 each for not displaying sin number on the letter friends so I request you to take care of all these law company law provisions and also GST provisions as enumerated above and uh, I think this video you like very much if you like it please don't forget to subscribe my channel so that whenever you issue a new video or new topic it will reach you directly thanking you once again Arvi Shagar practice